The Toyota Crown, which has been produced by Toyota in Japan since 1955, is primarily focused on the mid sized luxury market and is considered an upmarket offering in the Toyota lineup. So, why are we comparing the Crown with the Lexus RX? One is a sedan and one is an SUV. However, when you look at the spec sheets, what has been provided in the recent press release, there is a lot of in common. And this could be the direction of many new products coming out of Toyota and Lexus in the upcoming few years. The Crown has been popular for government usage, like being a police car or transporting government officials. While the Crown is supposed to be the upmarket offering in the Toyota lineup, Toyota in 1989 launched the Lexus brand and offered sedans like the ES and the LS and the GS and the IS. So there were a lot of sedan offerings. So where did the Crown actually sit? So one thing to keep in mind is that the Crown was not offered in the United States or let's say North America for quite some time. So when the, la the launch of Lexus, Crown was not available in North America. Crown was offered in Japan as an upscale market and Lexus was not offered in Japan until a lot after when the Lexus brand became global. So on July 2005 is when Lexus actually became a separate brand in Japan and offering the upmarket or the upscale market of Toyota. And when you look at the Crown, where does that sit in the Lexus lineup? So the Crown actually sits between the ES and the LS because it's actually very closely related to the Lexus GS sedan, which is no longer available. You may ask, why not the Lexus Crown? Well, the Crown has a long heritage, a long time with a name that is upscale for Toyota. So offering it as a Toyota model is not a bad thing. Toyota recently unveiled the 16th generation, which is actually four models of Crown. Interesting, right? The first model is the one on the left, which is the one in copper. It's a crossover type Crown. And in this version, it will definitely be available in North America. The three other models are the sedan, the sport, and the estate, which will be released later in the next 18 months. But we do not know if that these three models will ever reach the shores of North America. So when we tailor to the North American market, the crown actually looks like a replacement of the Toyota Avalon. The Avalon will stop production and this crown will take over. And again, they are both sedans and they're both, both above the Camry grade in the Toyota lineup. I may not have convinced you that comparing the Toyota crown to the Lexus RX makes any sense. But when you think about it, waiting for a vehicle at this marketplace taking 12, 18 months, maybe putting your eggs in another basket may get you a vehicle much sooner. So now going back to the spreadsheet. So now we have the 2023 RX and we have the information about the Toyota Crown. So information is still very limited in the Crown, but this is all I've gathered relation to the Crown. So when you look at the powertrain, the engine itself, you would see that the Toyota Crown Platinum uses a 2.4 liter inline four turbo hybrid. Does that look familiar? Yes, because that is actually the exact same engine that is used in the RX 500H F Sport performance. If you look at the horsepower numbers, you do see that the Toyota Crown has been lowered in horsepower, about 27 horsepower, and we don't have the figures on the torque. 
But then when you look at the transmission, it does also use the same six speed automatic transmission. And then the, the direct four all wheel drive, which I believe Toyota has just rebranded as E all wheel drive advance. And Toyota has actually now branded this the hybrid max. Now going down to the fuel consumption, you do see that the RX 500H is at nine liters per hundred or 26 miles per gallon. And when you look at the Toyota Crown Platinum, it is 8.4 liters and 28 miles per gallon, which is not bad for a 340 horsepower sedan. And when you look at from zero to 60, they both reach 5.9 seconds which is quite impressive. When you look at the size, an SUV typically is much higher and usually would be a little bit longer or whatever. But when you look at this, the Toyota Crown is actually an inch and 1.5 inch longer than the RX. It is about three inches, not as wide, but then from for a sedan, 60 inches is actually quite high but definitely not as high as a 67.3 inch RX. But with all these dimensions, the most interesting thing is the wheelbase, both measuring 112.2 inches, which means both vehicles can actually have the exact cabin space. The legroom and the front legroom and the back legroom will be very similar in both vehicles. And then when we look at the tires, they both are at 19 inch standard and 21 inch when it comes to the upscaled version. Both offering so-called the Lexus safety system or the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Now we go to the Toyota Crown, the 2.5 liter hybrid, which is very familiar to all of us. The NX 350H, the RX 350H, even the RX 450H Plus and the NX 450H Plus, the Toyota Prime, the RAV4 Prime, the Sienna, all these vehicles use the, the exact same powertrain, the 2.5 liter hybrid powertrain. And the Crown actually outputs 236 horsepower. It's a little bit shorter than the 246 in the RX. But overall, it's only 10 horsepower, so it shouldn't be that big of a difference. And when you look at it from an efficiency standpoint, 6.2 liters per 100, or 38 miles per gallon, is much more impressive than the 7.1 and 33 miles per gallon. So definitely, the Toyota Crown would be a little bit lighter weight vehicle in order to achieve that type of fuel consumption. So while we look at the interior shots of the new Crown, you would notice that there are a lot of similarities. You would see that they have this 12 inch display with the Toyota multimedia system, which is essentially the same as the Lexus interface. You would also notice that the dash is full LCD, meaning there's no physical uh, bars, gauges, or lights that are on it. Everything on that is an actual screen. So that's something that is different from the RX. The shift knob and all that seems to be taking from the same parts bin. It looks very similar. They also have a Qi wireless charger, but the design is a little bit different. And then all the climate settings are still in physical buttons that you can press up or down, which is still very traditional type of controls. The steering wheel overall has a lot of buttons, similar type of Toyota style steering wheel. One thing that they do not have is the e-latch system. They still have the traditional lever and if that turns you off on the RX, this could actually be one of the options that you want to take and go back to and drive a sedan instead of an SUV. One thing that they did emphasize is that the height of this vehicle it is a little bit higher than standard than a standard sedan which allows you to go in and out much easier than a standard sedan like a Camry. 
So overall packaging and all that, it seems to have very similar features in both the Lexus version or the Toyota version of these two vehicles. So what I would say is what remains is really the sound isolation and also the materials that will be used in the cabin itself. Because what I'm seeing from these original like prototype vehicle um, video, it does feel that the quality is not there. It still seems very plasticky or the quality of the buttons and all that doesn't look like a Lexus. So it does look like a premium upscale Toyota, but I think there is still room the gap between a Toyota product and a Lexus product. I know that the Crown and the RX is not an easy comparison, especially when one's a sedan and one's an SUV. But when you really think about it, having the same guts, just having a different type of vehicle may work for some people. Some people actually prefer a sedan over an SUV. And now you actually get the same guts out of an RX 500H or an RX 350H. And one thing that you will definitely not have a comment about is that this vehicle is a glorified Toyota because it's a Toyota, but it's at the top. It's a crown. And if you're in the market for a sedan, Lexus ES does not have the same powertrains. And this seems to be the future powertrains. And unless the ES changes over to the 2.4 turbo, you probably won't be able to see this powertrain in the Lexus lineup anytime soon. So let me know in the comments below, will you choose a Toyota Crown over the Lexus RX or any other Lexus vehicle like the NX that I own? Unfortunately, they do not have a plug-in hybrid, uh, but they do have the Hybrid Max powertrain, which is quite interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. You can also press that bell icon to get alerted when new videos are out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.